Welcome to Production Expert. In this four part series, we're talking bass. More specifically, plugins that you can use to quickly enhance the sound of bass that aren't EQ. Now we're gonna break from the norm in this series. We usually use music examples in our tutorials to help illustrate our points. Instead, we're gonna show you how each of these plugins work using a simple sine wave and frequency analyzer to give you a visual representation of what each of these plugins are capable of. We're also gonna run through each of these plugins in the series in order of price, cheapest to most expensive. We've already taken a look at low air, R bass, max bass. Last but no means least, we're gonna be taking a look at this, Waves Submarine. Perfect for generating synthesized bass in tracks that maybe have little or no bass in them. Now for the controls, we've got two sub generators going on here. One for generating one octave below, the other two octaves below. And you can set levels for each of those as well. Below is a range selector for setting your desired range of thump. A drive section there for saturation, a dynamics control for adding a smidge of compression to the sound of the sub, dry wet mix control, and of course, output to save you from clipping the plugin. Now like low air, this produces subharmonic information below the fundamental. We've got a 200 Hertz sine wave here. Let's just set sub one on. See the first octave? And we set the level of that. And sub two for the second octave below. And you can really hear that if you're uh, watching this video with a nice set of monitors. play around with the range but if the range is below the fundamental obviously we're not going to be getting any processing here so let's put that back play around with the mix control so dry and just sub both octaves of them let's put back the fundamental there we go let's play around with the drive You can see right there, it's playing around a little bit more with the subharmonics, dynamics. We're starting to get some upper harmonics there. And before, and after. Now, if you haven't already, do check out the other three videos in this series. We'll put a link to those in the description below. For more information on all of these plugins, do check out the Waves website. Hope you guys got something from this. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.